coming up this week on Archer's Choice. Oh, Ooh. see? Quartering away? Quartering away. Yeah, you got lucky. lucky. You got lucky. It's called Scale Woman. Welcome to this new series of The Archer's Choice. That's right. We have all brand new shows, brand new hunts to show you guys, and we can't wait. We've got some of the best footage we've had in years. We, we actually think that we probably have some of the absolute best footage we've ever captured since the 80s. I, I think mean, I just said that. But, I do think so, but I yes. Wanted to re this, sure hey, we're wanted. still doing the Lucky Logo also, which this week is Nikon. Nikon Clear makes you see everything better, even in low light conditions. I guess he's still going to make up these weird slogans, too, while we go along with this. In case you don't know what to do when you see the Nikon logo at the end of the show, we will again go over it and let you know that. So this week, we're going to go to Illinois, our homegrown whitetails. We live here in Illinois, Eagle Lakes Outfitters, and we're going to start off with your whitetail hunt. <laughs> Was, you know, and the reason being, because it's just probably one phenomenal hunt. It really is. And you got lucky. You know south southwest wind blowing right up down the river we heard some running and all of a sudden we spotted a small looks like a little forky chasing a doe on the other side of the river we've got our hot to trot our squatting doe out in front of us we're in the same spot we were yesterday when we got busted don't know how but we got busted and uh I hit the antlers, and I mean, we're looking, and all of a sudden, he goes, one, one, coming off the hill, coming off the hill. Well, I'm like, he's a little above me, so he sees it, well, and he might be taller too, I'm not sure, but, you know, and here he comes, and so we hurry up, I get in position, get the rack, get, get the antlers up here, and he's coming in, and he's coming in, and, and you know, like, and, and I've, you, you've been in that position where the hair starts standing up on the back of your neck, and you know, like, something's up. This buck had the same thing. So he all of a sudden just stops and he's like, just starts to commit. He wants to go, he wants to circle through this hedgerow and get on the downwind side. Well, guess what? I got my Hoyt at full draw. I'm not letting him get to the downwind side. I don't know how big he is, and I don't care. He's a mature deer. We rattled him in. He come right down, right down that lane. My Z-Man, come on, brother. Play that tracer. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, baby. Look at the rack, look at the rack. Oh, look at it sticking out there. Oh, Z. Oh, baby. Look at the mass on that guy. Holy cow. 
Look at that. Check it out. What have you done? Good <laughs> go, man. That's oh, awesome. thank you. Look at that. Look at the mass on that deer. Oh my. Woo, hot dog, huh? Look at this size. Oh, you grow them like that in Alabama? Uh, no. No? I didn't know you grew them like this in Illinois. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> That's fabulous. Didn't go far, huh? No, he, I, I bet you he went about 80 yards. Wow. Spitfire Max. He just, he piled, he ran, and all of a sudden, you know, he just, it was like, and Z and I are like, yeah! Look at that blade up there. Look at, it's almost two inches wide. That is beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Absolutely. All right, let me get a tag on him. Glad you're here, buddy. You the man. Oh, heck, it's a team. Sick to my stomach. Now we're now, gonna join the posse. The posse. We've got Bill Ball. Right. We've got Tony Tony Prillo. Prillo. Mm -hmm. And they are heading down, down with Eagle Ten Lakes. Yep. Wait till you see some of this footage. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this. <laughs> Get your arrow out. Yeah, maybe we should send a target to Tony. Dusty and I have been here in Blake County for probably about the last four days now. We we got here Christmas morning. And uh, so far, so good. We've seen a lot of big bucks. So it's, it's a good thing we're onto a couple good bucks. We were here last year and hunted this set. Saw a handful of big bucks right here in this corner. Two big monsters and like seven other bucks. Uh, all, all bachelored up last year. So we'll see what happens. We're sitting on a food plot. Wind's in our favor. I got my Alpha Max that I have not put an arrow through a deer yet with. So hopefully we're going to break this bow in here in Pike County. If you have an outfitter, you have friends that are putting in, or yourself putting in food plots, and, you know, and you're putting these in for the late season, I'm gonna tell you right now, you give me late season down in Pike County with Ted and Tina any time, because the results, well, are incredible. That late season, the only thing that buck has on his mind is food. You got the food source, guess what? Every, every deer in that whole area is coming to you. Well, a lot of guys say, I just shot the biggest deer in my life. I have to say that I just missed the biggest deer of my life. That's why people come to Pike County, Illinois, Eagle Lake Outfitters for opportunities at 160, 170 plus deer like that right there. I'm sick to my stomach. gonna be a really, really, really bad night. Oh, Tony, 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 boy, we feel your pain. Doesn't it hurt? Tony, I'm talking to you personally. How do you feel right now? Now we're gonna join Bill. And Bill, as we all know, in a true hunting situation, 
This is prime time. You know that low light, sun's just starting to break the horizon. It's legal shooting time and well, don't give Bill a chance. It's been about 40 minutes since I shot this deer and I uh, can't find the arrow. I don't know, uh, evidently didn't get a pass through or it's buried in this clover. So um, I was too shook up to see where he went in the woods. So we're gonna go down here and try to find if we can uh, see where he went in the woods. So come on with us. Blood. There he is right there. He didn't go 30 or 40 yards. Yeah. No wonder he didn't go very far. There he is. Wow, he's got a lot of little kickers on him that we didn't even see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Pike County, Illinois, Eagle Lake Outfitters. That's what it's all about, baby. Don't change that dial. We've got more Archer's Choice coming right up. The baby is going absolutely crazy. I really like that double lung. Works good. Oh, good Ooh, job. Ooh, yeah. Baby. Now we're going to go into Tina, Tina Sprague. Yep. And I'm telling you what, this is one lady that I give lots of kudos to. She ends up, she basically runs Eagle Lake Outfitters, even though Ted claims he does. Oh, Ted. Ted, it's you and me, brother. <laughs> she's the one that runs it. You know darn well. She's the one that's in charge of all of that down there. Anyways, last fall, she's pregnant. She's doing the end of December. And she is trying her hardest to get herself a deer. Wait till you see this hunt. It's awesome. This is what it's all about. And well, you know, Ted, just remember what Vicky said. That's all no. I'm saying. Down here at Eagle Lakes Outfitters in Pike County, Illinois, we're sitting over the top of a smorgasbord for the deer. Anything they want, they have here. As far as food wise, I am now approaching eight and a half months pregnant. And this has to happen soon because my body is not going to allow me to do this very much longer. <laughs> So, um, wish me luck. I have to give Tina a lot of credit on her hunt this year. When she found out she was pregnant and she was going to be due at the end of December, we were all wondering how much she was going to be out there in the woods, and let me tell you something. She was so dedicated to being out there in the woods, she's basically begging Ted to please let her go out and hunt. And Ted kept saying, no, no, the weather's not right, I don't want you in that stand for that wind, you can't climb that ladder. I mean, he was more... He was more worried about her than she was worried about herself, I think, sometimes. This may be a dirty heart, but he needs a good two years to become a shooter down here. That's Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. 
rattling, tickling the tines. We understand that it doesn't work 100% of the time. However, how many of you have rattled, you tickled those tines, and that buck comes running out and he freezes and he stands, and he just stands there and he's like, oh, and he holds up and there's nothing you can do. Well, you don't want to make a noise at that time because you don't want to draw the attention to you. Something I've done for years, and that is I take my bow hoist rope on my rattling horns, I make a loop, and I lower those babies all the way down on the back side of the stand. I lift them up, I drop them. As they hit the ground, leaves, and you know, leaves are, are, are rustling and, and branches breaking. As I lift it up, the tines hit together, simulating two bucks going at it. Well, here's the crazy thing. Those bucks that hold up, if you try that, a high percentage of the time, you're gonna have that buck do this and start coming right in at you. Don't go anywhere, because when we get back, we'll have a lot more Eagle Lake action coming your way. While you talk about persistence, you talk about never giving up, and you talk about pure toughness, Tina with the bun in the oven, man, she is a trooper. And she is ready to release a beaman. Let's see what happens. Where's he at? Dead how far? This vixen rocks. I got it out this afternoon. <sighs> Shot for about an hour and a half by myself. Got it completely in. Oh, God. Thanks, Dad. Oh, my gosh. That was perfect. It rocks. <laughs> I am so glad I got one down. Eight and a half months pregnant in the stand. my arrow. Hard to squat down even if I was pregnant. He broke it off. Um, the guys got up this morning and they've been tracking this deer. And they tracked him over the levee and then he's out on this island. So we have to get into a boat and we're gonna go find my deer. That next day when Tina went to go recover her buck and she had Ella with her and Ted and they had to go on the river on the boat and everything. I mean, what an experience, what a memory that they will share as a family forever. Congratulations, Tina. You go, girl. <laughs> there you go. Gotcha. Right up here, let's wait for mom. All right, here we go. I lost a lot of sleep over this guy. Shot him last night, and we tracked him for a little while, and lost good light. Um, ugh. Lost good light on him. Had a good blood trail. I started having some minor contractions at, since I'm eight and a half months pregnant, so the guys, we stopped the search, and they got up this morning before I got up and took off, and they came out and they tracked him. He um, has gone over a levee off of our ground, he is through the river, swam through the river, and has landed on a little yes, he is. river island <laughs> out here. Um, <sighs> Exciting. I'm I'll sleep well tonight knowing that we, we found him. I didn't like the fact that I didn't find him last night. So, anyhow, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Proper practice promotes perfect placement. Hey, Tina, congratulations. That was awesome. The recovery Tina, that was and so everything. Awesome. With that Ella, was so with neat. the family, with everybody. That, it was. That's what this is about. We say that all the time, but it, the reality of it, it is. It's not about just an individual. It's about sharing this hunt, sharing this lifestyle, and keeping it rocking. Absolutely. Now, if you happen to see the, Arch the Lucky logo this week, which was Nikon. Nikon, you need to go to archerschoice.com, fill out the information, and someone is going to win an AC rangefinder from Nikon. Archerschoice rangefinder. Oh, Ooh. baby, how cool is that? Next week? Next week, we are heading northwest to BC, Vancouver Island with Trophy West. Yeah, Glenn we're and go Steve Venus. We are and stalking. spotting and stalking black bears with the Hoyts, and it is unbelievable. We've got some great bear encounters coming up, so you don't want to miss next week's show. You know, I remember when you were, um, you had a bun in the oven when you were hunting. It was and many I, moons ago. And you were 
walk. We were walking. We were moose hunting up at Ferns, and, and you, you pushed fell me in, in that I creek, freezing cold you. water, six you months fell pregnant, in, and I fell and in. And I picked you up. I saved you. You and, laughed at me. Well, it was funny afterwards. No, no, you laughed at me. Wow. That's all that matters. And what happened? It we'll like see you trucker. next week, same <laughs> time, same place, right here on the Archer's Choice. You she, laughed at me. You should never laugh at a pregnant woman. Never.